Hi everyone, welcome back. Uh, lastly, we created the, our narrow class, uh, which in here. Uh, additionally, I just added in here uh, the coordinates of our inputs and uh, correspond of their targets, which they are meaning uh, in here. If, if you check in these stars and the moons, uh, the, the those inputs are core, uh, are representing the coordinates of these moons and star for example x and y so we can think like that and the targets which are in here one and zeros are corresponding to these stars and moon for example we can think in this video we will we will totally finish about single layer perceptron and at the end we will just uh, coming to a point which means uh, this any inputs given to us it can be linearly separable or not if linearly can separable uh, then give us the these w's and the x1 and x2 so we can draw these lines and also i will uh, represent this as visualization and let's continue just i'm additionally adding this and i will put this code to github also so you can check from that part so don't worry about it and let's starting in here uh, did i forget anything to tell tell as adding just neural class and in here i just added also the open cv libraries this open cv i will just use for visualization for nothing else just for showing the results not for something else so it it it's not important if you use or not but i just want to show why i own this library and let's start think First of all, let's create uh, our, uh, our class object. Our class, let's name it NN. And what else we should name it? Before then, let's this is the important one. Ep epoch num. Epoch num means uh, in the previous videos we talked. In each iteration, in each, for example, we will give give these inputs and this target to the our neural network. And in each time, these these are you updating the uh, weights and bias updating, and for each time using this data, it's one epoch. So we should continuously doing. I don't know how many epoch, maybe one thousand, maybe ten thousand, maybe one hundred, because it should be uh, different. Different epoch numbers should be used. Um, cannot uh, cannot reach the correct and desired weights in one epoch so it should update our weights with uh, updates our weights with uh, with in each iteration and these iterations are called as epoch and our neural network should be iterated for many times and these times are epoch okay I talk much uh, before maybe what else i should before maybe entering we should check and if you are not so careful about the sizes for example input size and the output size of our network should be same so because otherwise cannot be matching let's check it at the beginning let's say target size and targets Uh, it didn't how I called it oh vector I, I called it wrongly okay now should be remember I think okay then let's check it. if input size and target size is not equal then it should give us an error and ending the code before starting because this is not an acceptable thing let's say ops input size does not does not match with the target size Okay, 
and finished our code and continue ok this is just for warning we should do this and, and let's entering the loop in this loop we will, iter we will make our iterations and at the end let's increase the epoch now for each finishing time the loop and in the beginning we should also count how many how many estimated and the output are matching or not for example we will find some estimated targets for example this is one and this can i can find zero or again one if this is one and estimated also one this should be a good result so i will i will count the good ones let's call it good estimation number estimation number okay this is zero then let's enter our another for loop for checking each input and updating our weights okay very good then first of all what we should find let's check in the where was that okay we will first of all find our y y value how we will find why oh, this is wrong okay we will find this y value how we will find let's calling double y is equal to neural network times get y how we will get y um let's say n n times neural networks inputs which is the inputs in here and first of all the first value input height of zero because zero means for example for this data pair this one i mean if one this one so zero and i'm giving this get y get y means in here i'm giving this and i'm giving first value. now i will give the second value second value is also n times inputs i1 and this is done for this one after this what i'm finding i'm finding next is output i will find now output and but i can find together with output and the error output and error i want to find together how to do this now i will calling our get error uh, this just need target and result let's calling double error is equal to neural network get error which one uh, first of all i will give the target value which is targets i uh, targets which i defined in here and after that i just need the output but output with threshold uh, threshold also i also defined in here since my targets um, i represent as zero and once if you represent as minus and one for example it's up to you you can change which values you want to use corresponding these uh, apples and peanut or stars and moon in the mathematics side which one which one you want to use and i will call that threshold directly uh, and the threshold out inside i will call sigmoid function because it's also taking sigmoid but sigmoid taking y values which we find previously then this is done next is i will just check if error is equal to zero and i will increase my good estimation number one and after a all i will just update my weights for each pair of data i will update my weights how i will update in 
putos. I by the updating also corresponding to this equation just and previously I created my update function I will just give x1 I will give x2 and error according to these things it will updating my it will update my new weights okay and error okay this is done and what is next after this I will just check for example even this is the first epoch I should check the if good estimations number is equal to input size which means my estimated values for all data pairs are good so I should just check let's see at the end see out first of all let's say training and ended and all estimations are correct all estimations correct okay I also want to write the other ones which is epoch number also I want to know epoch number is for example I want to see this also at the end and see out also I want to see my new weights how can I call this in here I think I created in here yeah I can call it that in here okay and then that w1 and w2 is equal to and then that w2 mm, should be like this maybe w3 is equal to w3 okay this is done i see it all of them but the question is if this cannot happen what happens after this let's say if epoch now we should have a limit for example this limit let's say 100,000 for example this one okay if this is bigger than this and still cannot updating our weights with the correct ones we should saying like looks like looks like not linearly separable so our data pairs looks like non-linear it means and l let's say return minus one epoch plus plus okay this seems everything fine and if I just run in this code what happens oh okay I didn't break sorry yeah I didn't break you should break in here okay let's see yeah now in 43,000 blah 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 is updating our weights and training and so this inputs which I give as input my data pairs are can can be linearly separable so it's ended like that but let's see this as visualization uh, this part about open CV part and don't mind it I just because what I will do now since I know all this equation I'm just drawing this line so don't worry about this you can I'm just showing as I said again just for visualization what I'm doing I'm creating a image and I'm drawing x-axis y-axis then 
I'm checking, I'm putting in here my inputs, which different color circles you will see now. And this is blah blah blah. Let's see the result. Okay. What you see in here now? Let me try to explain. These yellow and red circles meaning uh, these data, for example, 100, 200, uh, probably this yellow. Why this is yellow? Because it's zero. And 200 minus 100, 200, minus, probably this one, and it's zero. And it's not probably uh, 200, probably this, yeah, yeah. This is what, minus 100 and it's zero. Zero represents red circle, uh, one represents so uh, yellow circle and since these data pairs can be linearly separated for example this is red circle right which means this let's make this target um as not zero but one let's see for example let's make this one and let's try yeah burl class i i write wrongly Where is it? Where is Burl? Ah, oh. so sorry for stupid mistake. Anyway, so since it's uh, cannot find, which means I didn't represent, I didn't show the image because it cannot. Since this is the yellow and cannot linearly separable, so it's said like that. Let's uh, making more. For example, let's take this which means probably this one to here let's take it to here something like not mine but let's make minus okay now it came to this part and it was here before let's take this one also what's the name of this ah probably this okay let's take to this to here and zero to not zero but zero to zero let's say okay as you can see the line is changing accordingly what you are giving uh yeah in this video i just wanted to show this and i think this is the end of the video as i said again i will share this on, on github and you can check on that part in the next videos I will talk about multi-layer perceptron or other concepts of neural network. I said as I said again this is the fundamental of the neural network this single layer perceptron and it's still useful on the world and it's good I think. Okay see you in the next videos bye bye.